Hi, and thanks for joining me in this video on barometry. In this video, we're going to talk about procedural standards. This video will cover exposure errors and also quality assurance. Exposure error occurs when there's a decoupling between the sensor and the atmosphere. Barometers measure atmospheric pressure. If the barometer is located inside a structure, then it's measuring the pressure inside the structure. If there's good ventilation, uh, in other words, a building that's not well sealed, then the atmospheric pressure is inside the building. However, if the building is sealed, then you're gonna get errors inside the building uh, based upon the wind. As the wind flows over the building, uh, it creates a negative pressure inside the building, and that will be measured by the barometer. So it's important when you're measuring pressure to make sure that you have good coupling between the barometer and the atmosphere. One method to avoid pressure errors, in other words, measuring the structure pressure or the dynamic pressure instead of atmospheric pressure, is to have a pressure line, a static line, that goes from your pressure transducer, the barometer, to the outside air so that it can measure atmospheric pressure. In most instances with pressure transducers, this is just a plastic tubing that connects the pressure transducer to the outside air. And that's usually done by drilling a hole in the side of the building and then sticking the tube out the side of the building. You have to be careful as far as what side of the building to put the pressure tube on, this static port, uh, because you don't want the wind to be blowing against that port or downwind of it. So try and figure out which side of the building has the uh, least predominant wind and put it there. If the pressure transducer is going to be located outside in the elements, then special considerations need to be taken to uh, figure out how to get a representative sample of pressure from the atmosphere. Uh, as you know, um, in the elements, the wind, the rain blows over all of the instruments. So a specially designed static port may be used. And there are many manufacturers of these static ports. Uh, here's an example in this picture. It shows a two plate static pressure port. Uh, the plate design is such that it reduces the uh, elements, uh, precipitation, dust, bugs, other things from getting in the port. And then also it reduces the airflow and distributes the airflow so that there is uh, a minimal increase in pressure because of dynamic effects. The next topic we'll consider is quality assurance. Measurements of atmospheric pressure at the surface are made by automated surface observing systems, or what we call the ASOS. And the ASOS has three pressure sensors. Uh, this provides backup and duplicity. Uh, they are digital pressure transducers. Specifically, they are the CETRA 470 pressure transducers. They're located indoors in the acquisition control unit rack. That's what you see here in the picture highlighted in red. And you can see that they're located side by side. Each one of those is connected to the same static line. So it's measuring the same static pressure. And if their building, if the building is sealed, then you will have a static port that leads to the outside. If the building is not well ventilated, um, if it uh, has uh, leakage, then they won't port the pressure transducers to the outside because the structure's pressure will be the same as atmospheric pressure. The pressure reported by an ASOS is a one minute average. The ASOS obtains measurements every 10 seconds and averages six observations from each one of those pressure transducers over the last minute. In other words, six observations. If there's a missing observation uh, from one of the pressure transducers, then that pressure transducer is flagged as being inoperative. If there is a difference 
of more than four one hundredths of an inch of pressure between any of the sensors, and then that one sensor that is most off is also flagged inoperative, and it can only be returned to service by a maintenance technician. So this provides you a little bit of background on uh, quality assurance and also exposure error as it relates to pressure measurements.